Welcome. Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing wonderfully today. All right, I have a Kroger pantry stock up haul for you here today. And the total for this shopping trip was $107.50. So some of the items are regular price, some are sale, and some are clearance. A quick thank you to all my PayPal and Cash App contributors for making my videos possible. Now when I went shopping yesterday, I was, I got pretty stressed out towards, let's say the last half hour. I love grocery shopping, but you know, people start to crowd in. Let's say between Thursday and Sunday, you gotta get out of there pretty early if you wanna avoid the crowds. Okay, so um, let's get started here. I have some 100% whole grain rotini and I got four of those boxes they were a dollar each and I have four of these whole grain thin spaghetti these were also a dollar each and that I believe is their regular price at least for now and the next item is these are my husband likes likes these these are some uh, original baked beans Kroger brand I I usually go for a generic Kroger brand I think it's pretty good so we have three of those and these are really large cans I think they are 28 ounce cans okay here is a clearance item right here Mott's 100% apple mango juice they have the reduced stickers these were a dollar each I think normally they, they would be like between two and three dollars, but um, yeah, plain apple juice tends to be pretty cheap, but apple mango I thought would be really delicious. And I have a total of two of these bottles. Okay, this is my favorite mayo. It's Hellman's olive oil mayo. It's about 60 calories per tablespoon. So I got that. And oh, can't forget the sweet stuff, right? So I have two 12 ounce bags of mini chocolate chips. All kinds of possibilities with that. I really like to make uh, my puffy pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. I have a recipe on my channel for that too. Maybe I'll link that below in case any of you are interested. It's great for like the fall weather when it starts to get chilly. Okay, here is something my husband picked out. These were, let's see, where's the price tag? These were 50 cents each. It's Cheetos, macaroni, and cheese. This is not something I generally would have picked up. And we've got, uh, we've got six total of these Cheetos, macaroni, and cheese. So six boxes for $3. I have to be honest, I don't remember ever seeing these on their shelf in the regular macaroni and cheese section. So somehow it made it to the clearance and and lucky for anybody who picks that up for 50 cents okay next thing here let's get some of this stuff out of the way so i don't get confused about what i already went over this was a little bit of a pricey item but uh, my husband like wanted this and i like it too it's kroger brand mixed nuts salted i love to eat these especially around the holidays um, I like anything like peanuts, cashews, mixed nuts. So this is a large container. I think it's the largest one they have. It's 34 ounces for about $10. We have some snacks here. Crumb Delicious Fig Bars. These were $1.99. And this is also a large has a large but I think it's 20 ounces but it lasts quite a long time Walmart also has one like this size too and if you need like a cheap snack that's maybe like lower in fat it has some fiber in it these big bars are really good for the price okay my husband got crumb delicious lemon sandwich cookies juice oh right here 
these are my favorite raisins. These were around like, I think they were about $5.49 and a, I think it's a little expensive for raisins, but really, I mean, it's a two ounce, ba a two pound bag, so that's actually probably a pretty good price. But they are so moist and delicious. They're like the most mo moist raisins I've ever had, so I highly recommend these if you want moist raisins, because I don't know about you, most of the raisins I ever got like way too dry for my taste, but um, it's definitely worth the price to get the moist raisins. Okay, we've got another baking product. This is Hershey's Special Dark Powdered Cocoa, and it is my favorite uh, powdered cocoa out there. There's just a, a richness about it that I really like. I highly recommend this cocoa powder right here, Special Dark. We have two bags of these Kroger brand egg noodles. My husband likes when I make casseroles when, it's, when it gets cold out. So, I got these for me, Kroger mini twist pretzels. I think these were about $1.65 or so. Since I'm like always on a diet <laughs> when I can be, um, these are really good for um, having a low calorie snack and also tiny a little bit of salt in there for salt craving. This right here is one of my favorite foods on earth. It is um, Sunmade Mission Dried Figs. These are moist and um, sort of like that part of my ethnicity. Some middle, some people in the Middle Eastern backgrounds like will like nuts and raisins and dried fruit are a big feature in like their culture and so um, I, they're a little expensive. I think they were about $2.79. I will eat this bag in one sitting if you let me, but I try to make it last about four days. Okay. I have a bag of cheddar and sour cream potato chips. I really like potato chips for a snack. Let me tell you why. They say that they're junk food, but in terms of junk food, I think it's actually one of the healthier junk foods you can get because it, it is an actual potato. Yes, it's fried, but it's not altered in any form. It's not, you know, it's not like a white flour. See, like these pretzels are made of white flour, but this is an actual potato chip and it, and it retains some of its natural vitamins even through the cooking process. Like, uh, I think you get about 10% or 8% of your vitamin C in each serving of potato chips. So, yes, they're a little salty and they're fried, but they're still a natural product. All right, <laughs> I'm giving my uh, little nutritional talks here when you're not asking for them. All right, uh, creamy Italian dressing. This was about $1.65. I don't really like to get um, pre-made dressings. I mean, I like them for convenience. I'm a big olive oil and vinegar kind of gal, but sometimes like you need the convenience, you need the speed, and this is one of the ones I really like. All right, now we're on the second half of the pile, a little smaller. Okay, here is another deal that we got. We have this Kraft Original Barbecue Sauce, 50 cents per bottle clearance. And this is, we got one, two, three, four bottles. My husband recently got a large pork shoulder roast, and so the barbecue sauce is really good for that. We use everything we buy. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing about when we buy this stuff on clearance. I make sure that we don't buy everything of one item that's there because there's a lot of people that really need their dollars to stretch and I'm not one of these people I'm not going to buy everything out that's on clearance just because I can get it uh, I, I do like to leave I do like to leave quite a bit for others if I can because I know a lot of people really need to spread their dollars out I just wanted to mention that 
Okay, here we go. Here is a bottle of pancake syrup by the Pearl Milling Company. This it was 75 cents. This is probably maybe about a dollar twenty-five when it's not on clearance, maybe even a dollar fifty. So for those of you who don't know, Pearl Milling Company is the new name of uh, Aunt Jemima pancake syrup. So they took away the Aunt Jemima name and they took her face away there too. So it's a picture of like some old build building now. So I don't think this is going to sell as well, to be honest. I could be wrong. But anyway, Pearl Milling Company syrup, 75 cents from clearance. Here is an item that was full price. Actually, it was on sale for a dollar off. It was uh, originally $4.49. I got it for $3.49. It is P.F. Chang's sesame sauce. We're not really going to restaurants or anything, and we try to make our own Asian style, uh, Chinese style, I should say, foods. And <laughs> not quite that successful at it, but the sauces really help. It is cheaper to make them yourself at home if you have all the ingredients that go together into making the sauces, but I don't have those. So in those cases, you know, it's just cheaper to buy the one bottle. So this is a good one, the sesame sauce by P.F. Chang's. This is Kroger Crunchy Cheese Curls. But these are the ones that are like Cheetos, generic Cheetos. The brand name Cheetos was too expensive for my taste. You had to buy, I think you had to buy four of them at Kroger to get the price of, what was it, $3, like $2.99? I think it was a larger bag, but I, I wasn't willing to spend to buy four of them for the price. We went straight for the generic and $1.99. Sometimes you just need to fill a little craving. You don't really have to stock up on it, you know, unless you know you're going to be eating it a lot. Here is another cookie fudge strip shortbread. These were about $1.20. And we have three of those. Three. A four pack of Kroger canned super sweet corn. This was $2.19. Here is another clearance item Planters dry roasted lightly salted peanuts for $1.50. These are normally, I think, about $2.50 to $2.49 to $2.99 and normally I get the generic ones because I can get those on sale sometimes for $1.99 but I've got the brand name here down to $1.50 so I thought that that was really worth it. We have three of these. One, two, three. Like I said, big on dried fruit, nuts, peanuts. Okay, here I have a glass bottle of Heinz Worcestershire sauce. Now, I'm okay with generic in basically almost everything, but some products I pick out uh, from the store, I make sure not to get a generic one because for some reason, it is just not good as the brand names sometimes. And in that case, I find Worcestershire sauce, there's no generic Worcestershire sauce that I find is actually good as the brand name. So Heinz, I believe, is our favorite Worcestershire sauce. And it is amazing for uh, like beef dishes. Anything with beef is really good. It just instantly packs a punch of flavor. French's is another one that's okay, but Heinz is the best one. Okay, guys, this was a big one for us, Velveeta. The reason I say it's a big one is because it's expensive. This is $7.49. And I think that that is a big investment. We don't get Velveeta often, but my husband really likes, he really likes macaroni and cheese made with Velveeta and grilled cheese. This is another product where the generic one, the generic store brands 
of uh, Vel their Velveeta version and generic, I do not like. I don't know what the difference is, but there's just something about the flavor and the texture, it's just not as good as a regular Velveeta. I don't like to put the money out for it because I think it's a lot of money for a processed product, but it does taste good, so sometimes just make the investment in getting it. Alrighty, here is my husband's coffee. He switched to decaf recently, actually, but decaf still has a little bit of caffeine in, in it, and it's more expensive than regular uh, caffeinated coffee. I've got Sweet Baby Ray's Buffalo Wing Sauce. All right, have to have those flavored sauces for dipping. And yes, we use it for chicken usually. Parmesan cheese, Kroger brand. We go through a lot of this. We go through a lot of Parmesan cheese. Two boxes of Bran Flakes. I had a coupon for this for like 50 cents off per box and so we got this. Bran Flakes tend to sell out quickly at both Kroger and Walmart. Don't ask me why. Maybe because it's really a basic product that a lot of people use. It's good for you. And in my opinion, it tastes good too. And finally, we have got two boxes of oats and honey granola. This is the cheapest way to buy granola, if you ask me, is in the Kroger boxes, if you shop at Kroger anyway. And uh, we used to get the oats, raisin, and honey granola. Now my husband wants the ones without raisins because the raisins are very like tough in the box. They're not soft and they're kind of like, if you're not expecting, you might hurt your tooth on it or something. But I still like it. Anyway, guys, so I got all this for $107.50. But anyway, if you're interested in any of my other grocery hauls or shopping videos, please see my playlist right here. Please tell me what is your favorite pantry item to stock up on. I will see you soon and I hope you like the video.